Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I, I am proudly take the floor this afternoon to say yes, I was that member that stood before the Appropriations Committee and was grilled as to where we could find the $32 million to protect 2,500 of our children who will be subject to sexual child predators over the next year. Mr. Speaker, I was there before the Appropriations Committee to speak to Alicia's law. You were all privy to see Alicia when she joined us in the gallery a couple of weeks ago. A 19-year-old wonderful woman now, but six years ago she was subject of an indescribable, unspeakable torture in the basement of a Virginia home. She's been very courageous to bring that story public today to ask and advocate for funds, the necessary funds, so that type of torture, that type of indescribable event does not happen to other children, whether in the nation or in this wonderful commonwealth. So I stood before the Appropriations Committee asking them the $32 million. You know, we politicians are great about talking tough on crime. You know, we all want to be tough on crime. In fact, two years ago, we passed a bill that established a 25-year mandatory minimum for child sexual predators. Boy, that's pretty tough. I'm glad everybody probably put that on their brochure and said, we're going to crack down on these people. Well, I was a prosecutor for seven years. I know you cannot put a person behind bars unless you have a successful prosecution. You can't have a successful prosecution unless you have a good arrest. And you don't have a good arrest, as the delegate from Manassas knows, unless you have a good investigation, good police work. And that's what Alicia's Law was about. It's about providing resources to our law enforcement officers to make those needed arrests, to put those sickos behind bars that are victimizing our children. So I'll stand before any committee of this House going to ask for $32 million to protect those children. Because I don't believe in just talking the talk, but I want to walk the walk. Let's, let's put those funds into our law enforcement officers. We were on this floor back in 2004. When this, we were on the brink of financial disaster in this Commonwealth. And the gentleman from Prince William County did not join this side of the aisle, nor the 17 House Republicans who stood up and said, you know what? We're going to invest in our children and our school children by investing in public education of this Commonwealth. We're going to invest in public safety by making sure that our state police officers don't start at a salary that would make them eligible for food stamps. So I ask the Appropriations Committee, stand up with me for the children of Virginia. Let's give our law enforcement officers the necessary resources. Let's walk the walk. Let's finance those officers to make sure we put those people behind bars. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.